Shalom, Yasharala. I'm going to give infinite honors to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kakadash. I'm going to give double honors to all the teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shai, pushing his true cross to four winds in these last days, seconds, and times with all fear and trembling. Uh, I'm going to uh, do this clip about being delivered from the lowest hell, man. And we all know that hell is a con con uh, captivity. It's the a state you're in. When you're in slavery, you're in hell. When you're uh, in a position of rulership, you're in heaven. Okay? And the, the nation of Israel has been in hell the vast majority of the years since we've been a nation. All right? We've been through war and hell. The kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, man. All right? We are supposed to be the kingdom of heaven, and we've suffered violence since we've been a nation, man. All right? We've been in captivity under the Egyptians. Uh, the Midianites came against us. Moab came against us. We was always worn with the Canaanites. All right? Uh, the Assyrians had us in captivity. Uh, all this is hell that I'm talking about. Uh, uh, when, when, when your enemies over over uh, take you. Uh, Moab overtook us for a season. Uh, Assyria, uh, the Persians, the Babylonians. Okay, the Greeks, the, the the Romans, that when you're in hell, you're in a position of servitude where the Most High is not dealing with you. You know what I'm saying? He's he's taking you out of the power seat and putting you at the bottom of the totem pole. That's hell, slavery. All right, but this this place, America, is the lowest hell. It's the worst captivity we've been in since we've been a nation. All right, this is the first captivity we've been in. Uh, well, the whole nation didn't know who they were, okay? Even during the time of the book of Acts, when we went out to the Israelite foreigners who were Hellenized, you still had the Israelites in Jerusalem that knew their nationality. Even in the lands where our people were Hellenized, when you read Acts, the second chapter, you still had devout Jews that came from every nation under the sun that knew their nationality. But here in this captivity in America, Everybody lost their na our nationality, our customs, our culture, according to Jeremiah, the 17th chapter. So that was by far the worst captivity that we were in. OK. And the most High through his spirit, his Ricardo Dash has woken us up out of those dead tombs and gave us all that knowledge back. But I'm saying that to say this, America is the lowest hell, the lowest captivity. And we got to be delivered out this motherfucker because this clip I'm about to play. It's ridiculous. This is it's things like this would make it the lowest hell. All right. On this clip, I'm about to press. I'm a heterosexual uh, Israelite indeed. <laughs> I'm an Israelite indeed. All right. And I am attracted to the hyper success, to the hundredth power. And when I looked at this clip and it's, a, it's some kind of test some dude on YouTube did. I got a lot of these answers wrong, all right? Now, I'm going to say this. The Most High would never let his elect men bump into a he-she, even if she looks like a, a full-fledged female, and go into her, okay? The Most High not going to, like, I'm going to give you some examples, some things the Most High is not going to let happen to his servants. He's not going to let his servant bump into a transgender that looks just like a woman and you're going to pop her. The Most High is going to protect you. The Most High is not going to let his men starve to death during a famine. And now, now he will, you know, it's well pleasing to him to let to for him to see his men suffer. So when when some of his men get moderate and keep their integrity to the end, the Most High, uh, that's he he's pleased to see that. So he will have faithful martyrs. You know, brothers will die, but the Most High is not gonna let us. Uh, starve to death and he's not gonna let no pestilence cleave to us no coronavirus cleave to his men and worst case scenario if a virus did get on a brother the most high is letting that happen to show a miracle the, you know in these last days we're gonna start doing miracles again all right so the most high would never let you bump into a fucking he she and pop the bitch all right if you have the elect okay but you, this can happen to a man. You don't know what the fuck you looking at. And that's when you in hell, man. When you are somewhere and you looking at a woman and you looking at a man, that's hell. That's why the scriptures say, put a mark on the men that sigh and cry for the abominations uh, that are going on around the bottom. That mark, that mark means you would never pop a, a, a transsexual. Even though you don't know what the fuck you looking at, that mark is going to protect you. Okay. 
So I'm about to press this clip and let you see this bullshit, man. Okay. So without further ado, here we go. See, that looks like a female to me. It looks like a female to me. He said it looked like a dude to him, but she looked like a female to me. But the simple fact you have to have that debate, that's something to sigh and cry about, man. You see, and that's a dude. That looks like a female to me. I got that wrong. Now, this looks like a dude to me. See, when it, see now this 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 is a female. That show you how when you read verse uh Isaiah the 19th chapter, uh it says that the most high say he was gonna put a perverse spirit in the midst of Babylon. All right, now that chick, I mean that it on the last pick was a, a dude posing as a female. Now this one is a female, but when you when these hoes go get that, that plastic surgery, to me that shit started making them look like men. All right, like Vivica Fox. Vivica Fox was a, a, a attractive female to me when she played I, uh, in that movie Independence Day and um, that movie when they was robbing them banks and shit. All right, she looked like a, 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 a attractive female. But if you look at it, some some recent pictures of her, you could tell she went and got had a uh, one of those surgeries. She looked masculine in the face, man. She don't have that feminine look that she had in those movies, man. The, the, those surgeries make these holes look masculine for some reason. Yeah, that plastic surgery shit. See, that's a female. Now, I got this one wrong. That looks like a female to me. This is a dude we're looking at. See, that's something to sigh and cry about. You look at it, you looking at it, you talking to a, a fucking dude thinking you talking to a female, man. That's something to make you want to throw uh dirt on your hair and rent your garment and sigh and cry about, man. And put that it to death, man. That's a dude when you're looking at. It looks like a female. Now, when you look at his continence with spiritual biofocus, you can see it's a foul, eerie spirit vibration to it though all right now this is a female that has to be a female man all right that's a female man now that was a female but you got males that look like this even though this is a female it has males that look like that now that's a dude That's a dude. Still got that Adam's apple. No chest. But if you just got a headshot looking at that picture, it would look like a female. Now, I got this one wrong. I thought this was a uh, a female. This is a man you're looking at, man. This is a fucking man. This is the lowest hell, man. This, you, this didn't happen in Persia. You had homosexuals in all these captivities we were in, but it was never a captivity, even in ancient Rome and ancient Greece. All right. You had men dressing up as women, faggots and shit, but you knew those were men in drag. Okay. You know, those was men in drag here in the lowest hell, man. These men going to have, they got real looking breasts. All right. They get the Adam's apples cut off, their rods cut off. All right. When they take off their clothes, they they got a, a, a surgical made vagina. All right? That shit is foul, man. You couldn't do that in those other uh, hells. But that's enough of this bullshit. Let me get to the scriptures. All right? But that that's my point of this sit down, man. This is why we living in some beautiful times, man. The Most High is about to deliver us from this bullshit, man. You can't even look at a female and know you're talking to a female just from um, laying your eyes on them. And this is Psalms 
86 and 13. Here we go. Psalms 86 and 13. For you, for great is thy mercy towards me. And you know, you right now you got to be praying for the most high to praying and fasting for him to pour his mercy out on you. A quadru you got to be praying for quadruple amounts of mercy and faith. All right. In these times we're living in, these trying times. And thou hast delivered my soul from the Lord's hell. America is the Lord's hell. Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots. This is the Lord's hell. Revelation 17. Where that passage at? Revelation 17 and 5. And upon her head was a name written. Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. That's what you just saw. The mother of it. All right. This is the mother of it. And it's the mother of all the abominations on the earth. Uh, uh, um, and the mother in every time period, too. Because you'll look at a woman and and you'll look at that woman. You'll think something's a woman and it'll be a fucking man. That's the mother of that shit. They weren't doing that in ancient Greece. They weren't doing that in ancient Rome. That's 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 a telltale time. This is the mother of harlots, man. Every wickedness under the sun goes on in this bitch, man. This is the lowest hell, man. The worst captivity about bar none. Uh, oh, I should have stayed there. This is Revelation 18. Just one shot over. I should have stayed there. Revelation 18 and 2. And he cr he cried mightily with the, a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and became the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit. Everything goes on here in America. Necrophilia, uh, homosexuality, pedophilia, bestiality. All of these things are, 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 are lawful. Okay? You know, what else? What else, man? It's nothing under the sun that's wicked and perverse that don't go here, man. The, the, the laws of the most high are done away with. All right. And this is a law of society. That's why we know who the man of lawlessness is, according to Second uh, Thessalonians, the second chapter, uh, the third verse, because of these things that we're seeing right here. That's the man of lawlessness. He, he cuts a man's rod off. He uh he takes the herbs and turns them into drugs and 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 turns them into hormones and 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 make pills out of them. That way men uh start growing female features and they stop growing hair. Okay, they body start getting soft like a female, all right, through his technology. All right, and turn and, and a turn from face value. A man have a man looking like a woman, man. Every foul spirit in every cage, unclean, hateful bird, man. It's nothing in America. This is the lowest hell that don't go on, man. Even that, man, this devil has made the animals gay, man. Okay? The water isn't clean. All right? It's heavy metals in the water. Fluoride in the water. The air is polluted. They got these plants through all up and down the Mississippi River, just twenty four hours a week, uh, hours a day, seven days a week, just just polluting the earth. All right, space debris in the stratosphere. All right, miles and miles and miles of trash in the ocean. He's sucking up the oil out of the planet, where the blue blinded plates are dry. That's why you getting all these fucking landslides and 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 fucking um earthquakes okay he's fucking up the earth man but here in america man uh where the children of israel the tribe of judah all of the children of israel here we're here in babylon vex are, are in the negative enemy in the lowest hell man this is the lowest fucking hell all right but guess what our heavenly father is going to deliver us from this bitch all right this is acts 2 and 25 and it reads, for David spake in concerning him, I foresaw Yahweh always before my face, for he is on my right hand that I should not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice 
and my tongue was glad. This is David prophesying about America. All right. What he saw in the future. All right. More also, my flesh shall rest in hope. Where is his flesh resting in hope? He was in, in, in captivity. He was in hell. So he was hoping his heavenly father came to deliver him from the captivity of his enemies, man. That's why we're all prisoners of hope, okay? Because thou would not leave my soul in hell in captivity. All right, when King David was on the planet, he wasn't in captivity under other, no other nation. All right? All right? Then thou should not leave my soul in hell, neither would I suffer thy holy one to see corruption. If you pop a fucking he, she, you've been corrupted. You see what I'm saying? If you taste those missiles that blow this place, you've been corrupted. The most high is not going to let us transpire in this, me expire in this bitch. Okay. Uh, some of us are going to um, be martyrs and some of us are going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye, man. And we're going to be delivered from this lowest hell. All right. King David saw it through the spirit. He said, you would not let my soul receive corruption. Two thirds of our people are going to receive corruption. The most high, I let them pop a fucking he, she. Okay. The most high, uh, 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 make them reject his, let them reject his truth and his savior. Well, uh, they, they're going to receive damnation. All right. He'll let them get the mark of the beast. Once you get the mark of the beast, you're corrupted. And you got uh, Revelation 14 and 9. All right, the wine, the wine of the wrath of the Most High is going to fall on your ass. So the Most High is going to deliver us from this lowest hell, man. This is the lowest hell, man. You, that Dante Inferno bullshit we learned, that's some bullshit, man. The hell is captivity, man, where you're oppressed and your, your spirit is vexed, all right, where the wicked bear rule, all right? And the, and the righteous is in the position of servitude to the wicked. That's hell. So with that, I'm going to give uh, infinite honors to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and I'm going to give double honors to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shai, pushing this truth across the four winds. Kwam Yasharala, Ababa Ball, Shabbat Shalom.